Hi, Sam. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. We're going to be Hi, like Sam. cheers, and everybody, yeah. someone comes in, we yell their name. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> where everybody knows your name. Brittany. Uh, by popular to demand are coming back every week with this. And thank so. you to everybody else too for being brave enough for coming on and um, sharing yourselves and and spending your time with all of us. I, it's yeah. been a long week because I had so much fun last Saturday and it was just like, it was like Christmas looking forward to this Saturday's conversation. Um, After our call last week, I felt this renewed energy and excitement. <laughs> When I can't go out for many weeks at a time because of this virus, I get like very anxious and I start thinking too hard about what if I wasn't disabled and what could I do? So that's where it is, that's where my head is right now, but I'm thankful to be here and have amazing friends like you guys that help me get through it. COVID-19 is something that everybody is experiencing, whether you're disabled or not. I tend to let my situations sometimes drag me down and especially with the COVID-19 going around I have sheltered myself in my home for the last almost month and I find that it's uh very taxing because to be able to sit down and listen to people and talk to people like you guys that actually have you know done this before I I just feel so blessed to be able to have new friends like you. I'm trying to find sugar for my mom, but uh, that's that's there's no sugar. I have never baked so much in my life. So yeah, I'm eating yeah. cookies and apple pie. <laughs> and today, yeah. 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 See, this is why there's no sugar at the market because everybody's baking. <laughs> Disability uplifters. We're not yeah. disability down pushers. We're disability uplifters. We are the advocates for the next generation and we have to keep it going. Yeah, well, a lot of the advocates are mad because they, they named the movie a uh, Crip Camp and I'm like, but that's what it was. It was a camp for people with disabilities. And unfortunately, back then, using the word crippled was okay, although I don't agree with it today. But back uh, then... Uh, my hands are up. <laughs> We're reclaiming it, though. But back my Instagram then, handle has crippled in it, so I can't say nothing. <laughs> I mean, so, so what there is, is there's kind of a couple different movements. There's the identity first language, which I identify with, calling myself disabled crippled. Yeah. Like, there's kind of a reclaim. Yeah because it's our community, these are our words, you know, like Sam says, he has a handle that has that word in it. And so people who get offended by that terminology, typically able-bodied people. And so, I mean, person first language wasn't created by people with disabilities. It was created by able-bodied people for the disabled community. So that's why there's, a reclaim movement with those words. The, our name is um, Wearology because we design hardware focusing on the accessory side of it um, to help people overcome certain challenges with style. So that's our our. Wait. Element. So wait. Hold on. Can you can you get a shirt and pull out the button and put that button instead or whatever it is. Yeah, our product, you just attach it to your shirt. So um, whatever kind of style or, you know, button-up shirts that um, you have, you just add these as an attachment to your shirt so that you no can way. the magnetic closure. So no sewing involved at all. It is a brilliant You need. Thank you. I think it's pretty cool. We're new. Well, but We're that, well, but that, that will take away my, my reason for finding a girlfriend. Cause I can't be. I can't be like. Can you do this for me? Oh, oh, oh with you on that your one too. Can you buy your roof? Like, can you do this bug for me, sir? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the best thing. 
the best move I did to get a guy to pay attention to me in high school. He was like, do you need help getting your lunch and your chips? And I was like, yeah, football player, of course. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So how many people have used their disability to interact with a, uh, someone you have a crush on? I have. Uh, all right, Sam. Thanks for being honest, Molly. Bye. <laughs> Use every tool in your toolbox. Even though we're required to stay at home for the safety of ourselves and others, our voices aren't silenced. You know, the topic for today was finding freedom and isolation. What is that? What else is uh, everybody doing to keep sane? Because I think even though we're fighting something that's physical, this is going to be a mental game too. Instead of calling this social uh, distancing, it's physical distancing, but socially, I think it's been bringing everybody together in such a strong, amazing way because um, like I've talked to people and friends that I have not talked to in months. Like it's just like that, you know, just everybody checking in to make sure everybody's coping okay with this. And so I just think that it's, we need to maybe rephrase this whole social distancing to physical distancing, but socially, I think it's bringing us together. Yeah, give yourself grace because we're all going yeah. through craziness. So there's still like a level of you want to accomplish everything, but we ultimately, we have so much time. Like we have, it, it's not like a race. So I tell myself that like every day, like, okay, I don't have to accomplish everything on my to-do list. And I think it's a really good time for, for all of us to kind of focus on like self-care. There's been a, there's been a good, good group of number of, a uh, good number of people where I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna just start unfollowing. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of that. I befriended that you, so don't, don't delete me. I just befriended you on Facebook. So, good <laughs> or not, you should not delete me. me. I've been journaling, um, I have been yeah, writing. Really, I've, I've been listening, first of all, to Deepak Chakra and Oprah do a 21-day meditation. But anyway, so I work with this mind, body, and soul coach, and every morning at 11 o'clock California time, but she's doing this all over the world. And it's a thing every morning that she gets you lifted, so you're really happy, and you keep your energy up, and you feel better about this whole, whole virus that's going around. You guys so. listen to a motivational speaker speak. Because in addition to the meditation, I think yoga is something that um, has just, it just provides such great core strength. I I've got people that are already just homebodies and working or working from home, like, you know, majority of the population uh, is stuck at home unwillingly and they're like, I don't know what to do with all the time. It's like, well, exercise. There's nothing healthier than that. There's nobody that's actually trying to teach people how to exercise correctly. A lot mis misconception is that you want to stretch before you exercise, but um, the actual truth is that you want to stretch after you're your uh, your body is already done exercising or your body's still warm so for me i stretch uh after i warm up and then after i'm done exercising mm -hmm. also most uh most colleges that have a decent pt program they will intake uh people with disabilities as uh for free therapy because at that at some point they need bodies for all the students i can i can definitely do another call just specifically about exercising uh, and I'll be more than willing to help anybody out. I basically wanted to offer for people in general um, free training for anybody that wants it during during the, the during their quarantine. Like there's lots of reasons why we need exercise and we need adaptive exercise. Yeah, it's not can I exercise, how do I exercise? But whenever you talk about disabled people and disability, the one thing that drives me off the walls is the fact that all these PTs, all these people are like re are regurgitating what PTs say. And what do PTs say? Grab a pair of bands, grab a th TheraBand, grab some tubes, do tube stuff. It's like, no, pick oh, up a dumbbell. Damn. I agree with you. I had this, I had a, a guy ther therapist 
and he would just want to do bands with me and play Star Wars, like, Dark Vader shit with me, and I'm like, what the f*** is this shit? <laughs> I mean, Star Wars is cool, so I don't know what you're talking shit about Star Wars. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't I, I get it, I get it. I, I, I mean, you had me at Bad Chiefs, and you started talking shit about Dark Vader. Look, I love, I love Star Wars. Chewbacca's my favorite. I love Chewbacca. But what I'm saying is, I didn't come here for adaptive workout for you to be like, let's let's light up Star Wars lights and let's play Wii. I'm like, this is not like, this is not me. This is like totally for a little kid's point of view. And I was just hoping that he would work on me toward my upper like body strength and my legs. He. He would just sit me in the chair, and sometimes he would bring me potato chips. Oh boy! And I'm like, you're supposed to be my physical therapist. You know what? I, I, I think. I want <laughs> what, Denise? I'd be like, bring on the lays. <laughs> bring on the lays. <laughs> And then, guys, that's not the freaking best part. The freaking <laughs> best part is when he tried to recruit me into his Power Rangers group. That's strange. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I, lo I, I love Power Rangers, but... Power Rangers are also awesome. I mean, yeah, they like, are. Like your PC I used, and I can be best I used friend. to like the green one when I was a kid. <laughs> but Ninja Turtles, though. Okay, obviously the pink one is the best one, y'all. <laughs> like, I mean, if we're gonna have an argument, like, hello. That's, but, that's Sam's first crush, the pink Power Ranger. Oh, sure. <laughs> it's okay to be frustrated in this space. It's a frustrating thing. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm isolated a lot more. Cause but I feel like the system for people with disabilities is injustice. Like, my cerebral palsy is not gone just because I reached 21. This I've had to adapt from being an adult in a society where it's not really made for me. Having to constantly fight for what you know is right for you when doctors and society says, Oh, but this isn't right for you, Talia. You need to take this pill, that pill. You need to go to this doctor, that pill. And so, it's like uh, as you guys know, I work in the strength community. I work in the strength and conditioning community. I work as uh, a coach for athletes. Um, uh, one thing that I've gotten as a, when I was younger and like an intern volunteering for different high schools and colleges, um, one thing I got from one of my bosses was uh, the comment was he's never going to be more than an assistant because he doesn't know how to be strong. Um, and actually, as of last month, I had uh, uh, a member of the gym that I coach at uh, said to another member, I don't respect him because if he doesn't know how to do it himself and he's not strong himself, how is he supposed to know what, how to teach it? Um, so it's it's an on, that's an ongoing theme throughout my life. I mean, granted, I put my fucking position, um, you know, but uh, I know that that's one thing that I've always had to deal with, and I know I'm going to continue to deal with. But the funny thing is that whenever somebody else says that to me, I said, "Look at my resume. Look at the proof. The proof is in the pudding." I think, I think for me, I'm so confident in myself and my capabilities um, that I don't ever question that. Um, I question their, I question their character more than I question myself. I feel not only physical therapists, we need medical professionals, we need mental health care professionals. I'm sorry, I don't want to hang out with Julian Michaels. I want to hang out with somebody who I know has been where I have been. I hope everyone has a best week and keep yourself safe and wash your hands yeah i'm just so thankful for everybody's continued energy around this group and the purpose of connecting and finding community and it's just it's really exciting and i can't wait for next week mm -hmm.